Hi, this is Kim Bellissimo, and welcome to Heart Exchange. Today is Women's Day, and today we are celebrating women. We are taking the day off. We are deciding to give to ourselves in a new way. This is an important step because as mothers, as partners, as career, we give everything. We give our all. And most of the time, we forget about ourselves. And in forgetting about ourselves, there is no us. And we expect to be seen. We expect for us to have equality when we can't even do that for ourselves. So today, let's really celebrate this time that we have for ourselves, this time of contemplation where we can move our energy within our own hearts and we can reconcile that we are going to be in an exchange in a new way moving from this day forward. So what does that mean? The carbon heart print is what I've coined and really to meaning that where do we place our time, our attention, our energy and money? And wherever we place it is what we create with our own energy. And this is our power. Our power is our energy within us. So as females, we must know this power, that whatever we do with our attention, we are creating with it. And I'm asking you today, what is your carbon heart print? Where do you put your time? Do you put your time or your attention on somebody who's depressed or male pain or just situations that are happening that are out of your control? And do you drop your energy down? Do you dim your light? And do you not shine because you're taking care of others? What happens when you go and you want to create something for yourself? Do you get met with that resistance? Do more people start piling work on you? The only way to really have power is to know that the power is within us. And we are only in agreement with people in exchange. So what does that mean on a daily basis? Even for a client that goes to a store, she unloads all of her groceries and, this, and the clerk says, I can't help you, I'm closed. She said, why didn't you tell me? And he goes, well, I just decided now. She left it there and she walked out and she decided unless there is a mutual exchange, unless there's an acknowledgement of me in this too, then I'm going to drop it. I'm no longer into agreement. So what are things that you can do in your life to create this exchange where we decide now we're only placing our time, attention, and money on things that acknowledge us, things that will give back to us, people, organizations, communities that will see us. We have to align and embrace all females and everyone who's in agreement with this. And we ask everyone to join into this exchange because then there is flow. There is a natural flow. There isn't somebody above and somebody below. But females create equality. That we're not asking to be below someone or above someone. But we want to create a world where we all can coexist, where we all can co-create. And the way that we can create that is by flow. And what is flow? I give, I receive. But for women, a lot of us are enablers. We give relentlessly. We give up from our space. We continue to give where there's so much pain. We take on people's problems. And we've enabled this whole thing. And for women, we have to take responsibility for even maybe creating a society of narcissists. Because what have we done? We've continually given. And in giving so much then, nothing returns to us. And then we feel depleted or we don't even feel activated. So I'm asking you today, I'm asking you to create this heart exchange. And tell me where are you placing your time, attention, energy, and money. Get into agreement to companies that will be into this heart exchange with you and also other people that can support you. And join me for meditations around how we can develop this within ourselves. Thank you for joining at KimBellissimo.com.